Hey everybody, Anel here with NKY Honeybees. Welcome back to the channel. Today, um, it is not such a beautiful day, but we still have to get in the bees and check some things. I have to do a couple of inspections here, but I'm also going to make a couple of splits. So I want to take you along, show you how I make my splits and hopefully bees are um, nice to us today. We'll see. So let's get in there and see what's going on. Alright guys, as you can see, bees are not happy that I'm here. I haven't even opened the hive yet, but we'll get through that. I expected it. So, today I'm going to take a quick peek in here, um, just a kind of a halfway inspection. I'm going to get into the brood because I'm making a split and I'm going to put it right into that hive, IQ hive. I'm not going to put it in a nook, I'm just going to put it directly in there because I do have four drone frames put in there already and then I'm going to add five more frames from here of brood, honey, pollen in the mix. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I've always done it like this, always worked out for me. But like I said, there's thousands ways of doing this. If you look at other videos, you'll see there's many, many ways of making a split. So let's get in here and see what's going on. Oh Lord. All right. This is interesting. That's a lot of bees. Ay, ay, ay. I don't even know where to start. So bees everywhere, my friends. Be nice if they moved a little bit. Oh wow, this hive must be massive. Or or they just must be hot or something came up here. But let me give them some smoke. Hopefully some of them go away. Go down into the frames. Make my life easier. Ay ay ay. This is a first. I haven't seen this before. So I'm assuming the, the brood is somewhere in the middle. But we'll take a look. We'll go through some of the frames. I can't believe there is this many bees. I love it. We'll go through some of the frames and then we'll see where we stop. It would be funny if the queen was up here. I hope not. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. That is interesting. Haven't seen that before. Especially in these long hives, they have a lot of ventilation and everything. They're never up here, so. Well, they're drawing out new comb because this is all white wax. Interesting. Yeah, same thing here, just honey. Oh, that's heavy. That's why, because it's capped honey. I probably need to go to through a uh, few more frames to find, yeah, this is more capped honey, to find the brood nest. I don't know if you can see that, but they're all marching that way. It's kind of like a highway. I love it. Oh my God, more honey. So these last several frames, one, two, three, four, five, six is honey. Let me just give them a little bit more smoke. I don't know if the hive has too many bees or what's going on here, but we're going to fix that because we're going to steal some of them. We're going to help them out. We're going to take about five frames. Well, some of the frames will be honey. One got me. All right, now this is light. Okay, so we're getting into brood nest. Perfect. So this is what we were looking for. So on this frame, it's larvae and eggs in all stages. Let's take a look at the other side. Same exact thing. So that's the frame I'm going to steal. Because you want one of those too. Let's take a look. Let's take a closer look in here. I can never tell if you can see it from here. But once I upload the video, I can. But that's both of the sides are the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this. One of these frames in here. I got four frames that are already done in here. And we're gonna need five more or four more since I just put in one. 
And then I'm going to shake some bees off because some of these bees that go on these frames in that um, box, they're going to come back. When they fly out, they're going to come back to this hive. Those are the forager bees. You want the worker bees, the ones that are on the larvae and eggs and brood, cat brood. I don't see. Uh, one thing you want to watch for, should probably point that, that out when you do this. Make sure you don't take the queen into the split box. Then you're going to leave this hive queenless. If you're afraid you can't find her, you can just shake off the bees and go through the box when you find the queen, put her in a clip, and then shake off some bees into that hive. I've done this many times. I've also made mistakes of putting it in a split box. When I come back after a couple of days, I just put her back. No big deal. All right, that's another frame of eggs. Fresh eggs. We don't need that. We need some cat brood and some honey and stuff. It's kind of a mix. See that? That's nice. Let's see the other side. Yep. So that has cat brood, as you can see. Some of this here has larvae. Must have, bees must have hatched. She laid back up. I don't know. And there's a little bit of honey around. That's what you want. Also, what you want, at least, I keep saying what you want, but what I do is I look for some of the honey, cat brood, and then some pollen, too. It's good to have. Just looking for the queen, make sure we don't take her over. Nope, so that's a good frame. All right, that's two frames. So just looking at this, I can say this, this hive is really, really good already. I can tell. Uh, I don't think it's looking to swarm or anything. Look at that. That's just beautiful. So that's another frame I'm going to take over. So that way when these bees hatch, they're going to have a lot of bees. And the young ones, the larvae and stuff will go to the next round. By then, queen should be laying because what I'm going to do I'm not going to wait for them to requeen themselves. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I bought a couple of queens. I'm going to pull her in there, but not until next day. I wait 24 hours and I put a queen in there. So they realize there is no queen. They accept it a lot better. This is my experience and it worked for me all the time. Some people release it right away. Some put the queen in cage right away. I wait one day and then I put her in there in a the cage. All right. No queen, right? No queen. Taking this frame too. All right, we need two more frames. So maybe another frame of brood and then some honey. Oh my God, that's a lot of bees. I'm telling you, this hive is massive. So make I can probably make a couple of splits easily out of this one. Wouldn't hurt it at all. This next frame looks like a capped brood. So this frame is a little better. So let's take a look here. So look at this frame. So it has capped brood and then larvae de developing in all stages. There is even few eggs right at the edge. And now on this side, there's a little bit of um, drone brood, but that doesn't matter. But rest of this is filled with honey. So. That's a good frame for me. I can always, if they don't look good, if they, they're not expanding real well, I can always come back in here and shake a couple of more frames of bees or just add a couple more brood frames to make it stronger. Just making sure queen is not here. Doesn't look like it. Oops, I'm sliding bees. All right, one last frame. One last frame, which I want to be pollen if possible. At least some pollen on it. This is all honey, I bet. It's heavy as heck. Yep, this is all honey. So let me find the next frame and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So this is a perfect frame, what I'm talking about. Just want to show you. So when I bring this in, there's a lot of bee bread, pollen, honey. All kinds of mixed up stuff in here, all kinds of colors. And that is what I was looking for, for the last frame. There is also on this side, there's some eggs, which is beautiful. That doesn't matter. Um, those will hatch out. And this hive, I think is going to be really good. 
I'm gonna put the queen in here tomorrow and we'll check on them in just a few days. So I'll keep you updated. So let me throw this in here. Actually gonna put this one on the edge because I've got honey on this edge. And we'll put pollen on this one. Too many bees. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna go ahead one last step, just shake some of these bees off into that new hive. Because like I said, some of these bees will fly back. The foragers, when they fly out, out of that hive, they're gonna come back into this hive. Again, just make sure, especially when you're shaking, the queen is not here. All right, one more, one more. One more and we should be all set with this one. Let me just make sure the queen is not on here. A lot of young bees, you can, say, uh, you can tell it they're young bees because they're kind of like the hairs are white and, and they're small. Yeah, that's enough. We'll shake a few more and that's it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. I've, taken, I've seen this hive, looks really good. I can make another um, split if I need to later on. Add some more bees into this hive if it's not doing too good and so on. So there is no swarm cells and I look in swarm. I'm gonna close this up and probably leave it until the end of July. I won't touch them, there is not much going on. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. You've seen a lot of bees out here and marching down the hive. Um, if you don't mind, give me a like, um, give me some comments. Let me know what you think. I'll go ahead and put this back together and I'll see you on the next video.